Digital products like downloadables or courses are non-tangible goods that are sold online and used digitally by customers. And they're a great way to earn money online for a few key reasons. First, they don't require physical inventory storage. Second, they have very low startup and fulfillment costs. And most importantly, you can sell them consistently and sustainably at scale. That's why today I'm excited to show you exactly how to create and sell your first digital product step-by-step -step using Kajabi, even if you're just getting started. Step one is choose your platform. As an online business coach, this might be the question I'm asked about the most. And to help you make your decision, I first want to distinguish between product platforms versus marketplaces. A product platform is a digital tool used to build and sell digital products directly through your business. They're also known as course creation platforms, but can usually sell all types of digital products, including downloadables and memberships. On the other hand, a product marketplace is a website where you can contribute to an external catalog that includes other creators. And two well-known examples are Skillshare or Etsy. But while marketplaces offer exposure, your earning potential will always be limited by their fees or commission payout structure. And you don't get email addresses for your buyers, which means that it's tough to market to them in the future. So while marketplaces can be great for truly passive side income, I do usually recommend choosing a product platform like Kajabi if you're looking for more ownership and growth potential for this new revenue stream. Now, when it comes to Kajabi specifically, they have the advantage of being an all-in-one platform which means that they offer everything creators need to build their businesses all in one place. You can build a website, create email automations, start a community, sell digital products and services, and more. And WitNWire subscribers can claim an extended 30-day trial by visiting witnwire.com slash kajabi to get started. Now, although I don't think there's such a thing as one universal best tool for everyone, Kajabi has been my top recommended all-in-one platform for years, and it's the tool of choice for many business owners in the Witten & Wire community. In fact, Kajabi recently passed an incredible milestone, celebrating $10 billion of revenue sold by their creators. So they're well-loved and a great choice for business owners who value simplicity and the ease of managing everything under one roof. Also, because they're well-established, Kajabi has a wide ecosystem of third-party specialists and service providers. So whether you want a Kajabi website template, a virtual assistant, or someone to build your site, it's easy to find support as your business grows. But just because it works for someone else doesn't necessarily mean it's right for you. So to help you make your decision, it's time to bring you into my Kajabi account and show you firsthand what it looks like to create and sell digital products with Kajabi. For transparency, this video was sponsored by Kajabi but I wouldn't partner with a brand I didn't wholeheartedly recommend, and all opinions and tutorials are my own. Let's start by creating a digital download. This is a very broad category and includes any file type that your buyer downloads or uses on their computer. So just a few examples I've talked about in other videos include eBooks, printable workbooks or trackers, content templates, design templates, editable spreadsheets or creative assets, just to name a few. I do often recommend digital downloads if you are selling your first digital product because they tend to be the simplest, fastest, and lowest tech to create. So here's what that looks like in Kajabi. First, let's give your product a title and description. I'll also upload a thumbnail image, which appears on your checkout page, as well as your product delivery page. You can change these at any time, so let's click next. Here, you'll upload the product file itself. So I'll add a PDF to deliver my content template, or you might choose a spreadsheet or document. Next, we'll set a price. So I'll pick $47 and click next. And in the admin dashboard, you can change those settings at any time. As a preview, here's what your buyer sees post-purchase so they can download their files and start using their product. Another popular product type is an online course. If your product includes one or more videos, then this is the digital product type for you. You'll give your course a title and description. You can also change the colors and upload a thumbnail image to represent your product. If you want, you can set a course price right away, but you can also come back to this later. This will bring us into the course editor. So let's change this module name and I'll add a few more modules and that's Kajabi's word for section. I'll also go ahead and add some individual lessons. So let's add one as an example and let's add a video. I'll drag and drop it in from my computer and then after it uploads, I might change the thumbnail image and I can add text below the video. I can also add PDFs or other resources and let's click publish, save and preview. This default theme is called Premiere, but you can also switch to Momentum 
And for both templates, you can customize your colors and fonts to suit your brand. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about actually creating the online course videos, then leave me a comment below. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Wit & Wire if this tutorial has been helpful for you so far. Let's also customize your checkout page. Let's create a checkout page for our Notion content planner. I'll select the product from my dropdown and click next. Here I'll choose my pricing plan and I'm gonna go with a one-time payment of $47. I'll use the Kajabi payments processor and click next. Here I can make some basic customizations, but you can change any of these in the full checkout editor. So let's click save and finish and head over to edit checkout. Let's start with design. I'll upload a banner image, which will appear along the top of the page. Let's click save to lock that in and head back to edit the content. I can add a description and I can also upload a hero image, which is a thumbnail. I could also add testimonial, so here's a demo. And let's click save and then preview, where you can now see an example of what a checkout page might look like using Kajabi. You'll also need a sales page. This is the landing page on your website that more fully explains your product and its benefits. And the buttons on this sales page go to your checkout page. To create a new landing page, you can either start from scratch or use a pre-designed template. I'm going to use the streamlined sales template and I'll give it a title and click create. This brings me into the page editor and under settings, I might update my style guide to reflect my brand colors and my fonts. Big picture, Kajabi's page editor relies on sections with individual blocks, which you can rearrange, delete, or duplicate. You can also click into an individual section to make further edits. For example, let's customize this section by changing the background color. So I'll select one of my brand colors and I'll click this block to edit the text. I also want to direct all call to action buttons to my checkout page, which we previously created. You can add or remove sections as needed to build out your page. So maybe you need a text block or a call to action block. There are many great options to choose from to build out your page. And when you add a section, you can rearrange your initial order. And you'll wanna make sure that you preview your page on mobile and desktop before publishing. Next, let's create an online community. In Kajabi, there are options to create a free or paid community, or you might offer options for both. But for today, we'll focus on creating a paid community, which might also include bundled features like courses or additional resources. Within your Kajabi community, you'll be prompted to create access groups. These members have access to the same resources. So when you click continue, this might be a free or paid community. You can also decide on your pricing plan. So for a subscription, maybe you charge once per month and I'll use Kajabi payments just as one example. Here's a preview of my demo community and let's add a cover photo with an image that represents my community's shared interest. Next, let's create a new feed. And this channel is a space for discussion and I'm gonna keep it private. I might also add a channel called introductions and I could swap this from a feed to a chat, which is more real time, but I'm gonna keep it as is and make it private. I can reorder my channels and let's preview the sidebar. Let's also add a new post and you can add different elements like polls or use the rich text editor before posting. And you can react to or comment on other people's posts. Let's also take a look at meetups. These are usually virtual calls and here's one example for a group coaching call. You can set a recurring event with a description and you can limit it to specific access groups, and you can add or manage new meetups all in one place. You can also create challenges or series, which invite your community members to take action. When you create a new challenge, you'll choose a start date and a duration. Then you can choose from one of Kajabi's starter templates or we'll start from scratch. I'll invite members to introduce themselves as their first challenge, and you could optionally offer a prize. You can also upload a cover image and let's click save and preview it. Here's what it looks like for our members. And once we join the challenge, you can participate and mark your challenge as complete. This is one way your members can earn points toward their leaderboard score. And you can create titles for members to earn and assign points for different actions. I also wanted to briefly mention one-on-one -on -one services. Kajabi does give you the tools to sell services through your own website. So I thought I would show you a preview of what that looks like. Let's use a coaching call package as an example. I can decide between one-on-one -on -one or group coaching and set a number of sessions. From there, I can decide to use Kajabi's scheduling tool or an external platform. And I can also use Kajabi's live video tool or my own. I'll set the standard duration per session and click continue. 
After some basic customization, I can either set a price or skip it, and I'll choose a payment plan and save and finish. Next, let's head to package outline and describe your sessions. Maybe I'll add a kickoff call and description, and optionally, I could add agenda items to check off. I can also add resources like files or links, and this one's just a demo, but let's preview what this looks like. This is what clients will see. So they can schedule their individual sessions, and this will use your Kajabi availability and connect to your calendar, or you can use an external tool. You'll see resources on the right and can check off your agenda items. And there's an optional note-taking space if useful. There are so many other great features in Kajabi, like their website builder and their email marketing tools. So I would love to hear in the comments what else you might like to learn next. But for today, you can visit witandwire.com slash Kajabi to claim your extended 30-day trial. And don't forget to subscribe to Wit and Wire for more online business tutorials. If you found this video helpful, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And here's another video I think you might enjoy.